Hey, Tuna here, and today I'm going to show you how to replace your coolant reservoir without having to drain the entire system. To do that, you'll need an empty jug that can be relatively sealed and made airtight-ish, uh, some clear vinyl tubing, uh, 10 mil, of course, a uh, multi-tool, but really I'm just going to be using it for the knife, uh, some cleanup towels, channel locks, and uh, something that'll plug the uh, outlet hose once it's disconnected. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, two small incisions into the cap of this, just so I can get those pipings in there. Eh, good enough. Take that clear vinyl tubing, and give yourself enough length from the engine bay down to the ground and then uh, cut it. You can probably guess where we're going from here, but you're gonna wanna take that tubing, and put it down into your container, your clean container, I might add. Now it's probably a good time to kick that drip pan underneath. With a cold engine, remove the top of your coolant reservoir cap here. And uh, yeah, you guessed it, put that hose down inside the coolant reservoir because we're gonna siphon it out. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can insert the other part of the tubing into the jug and then suck the air out of the jug to then suck the coolant out of the reservoir. But quite frankly, that sucks. I got a better idea. I'm gonna use this mattress inflator deflator on deflate mode. Stick it in the cap here, form a rough seal with my fingers and then uh, turn it on. All right, when you start getting nothing but bubbles, Pull that tubing out, being careful not to get any of the coolant anywhere, and then set it down. We'll come back to it. Use that 10 millimeter and remove these two bolts. With the two bolts removed, grab the reservoir and pull it straight up to get it off the notch. Now raise it as high as you possibly can because this next part, we're gonna be removing this right here. Then use the channel locks to loosen that clamp and slide it down away from the neck. Gingerly use those channel locks if it's giving you some trouble to give it a little twist and pull. You wanna be careful because you could break the barb on the top of your reservoir. So just enough to where you can use your hands to get it off. Just like that. All right, back to where we left off before my phone's storage was maxed out and I had to delete some videos. So I was holding this elevated so that way no coolant comes out. Uh, take that object, in this case I'm using a 3 8 drill bit, and uh, plug your hose. And now, because of the fitting it's attached to, you can just swing it out of the way. With the hose out of the way and elevated and plugged good, I can't stress enough, plugged good, you want to disconnect your coolant hose from this clamp down here. And again, push it down as far as you can. And then squeeze on that coolant hose. Remember the goal here is to get as much coolant on this side so we can remove it. Then give it a tilt. You can see all that coolant we're about to get out of there. Back to the hose, all that yummy, yummy coolant we're gonna get. So sticking that down in there. Pull that hose out 
at this point, you can raise the coolant reservoir up as far as possible and use the channel locks to loosen the clamp off of the neck. Give it a twist. And out it comes. You may or may not be able to see the level of the coolant down there, but it's sufficiently low enough to where if you had your replacement, you could toss this one aside, grab the replacement, and then put it in. I did this video not because mine needed replacing, but because I wanted to share it with y'all. So now we go with the replacement. In reverse order, reattach that coolant reservoir to the hose. Give it some twist and then use your channel locks to squeeze and slide the band clamp back up where it belongs. Right there. Now remember, you're going to want to reattach this while it's still elevated so nothing leaks out. So I'm going to set this down. unplug the hose and kind of hear some of the coolant stirring around in there. And then I'm going to reattach by just sliding it over and then using my channel locks, loosen that band clamp and put it between the white lines right about there. All right. Then reinsert it on that notch and then go grab your 10 mil. And I lost my 10 mil. Just kidding. Reinsert those two bolts. Remove that hose from your coolant receptacle. Take the cap off and refill your reservoir. Then recap it, of course. And now for the moment of truth. That's it. Thanks for watching.